Dear friends, welcome back to Automate with Rakesh. In this video, we are going to learn two different important methods. How will you use group by and some method together? So let's see some of the questions here. Understand how group and some method can be used together. This is will be our main topic. So here is a screenshot for you. For example, I have a data table, department and salary. And I have entered some values, random values, ITHR, finance, like this. Now, I want to group them, calculate the sum of salary by grouping the department column. That means if you see, IT, this guy has got 40,000 rupees salary. And another IT person who is getting 20,000. So for IT, how much if I ask you, you will say 60,000. So what you are doing, you are grouping this department column as per their names and then summing up the salary. If I ask for HR, for HR, he is getting 30,000 and here he is getting 20,000. If I ask you, what is the total salary of for the HR department is being spent? That means you will say 30 plus 20, 50,000. So it is grouping this department column and then showing the, cal calculating the sum of the salaries of that department. Okay, how to achieve that? I'm going to teach you. Next thing we will also see the previous example that you saw, it has only got two columns. So if it is two columns, the way you develop your workflow is slightly different. Then if it is a multiple column, for example, ID name department like that, you can have multiple columns. Now, if you have multiple columns, your output remains the same. See when you group, can you group the names here? For example, IT, IT. So this will be your output, which will contain only two columns. If you have the name column, because A, D, you cannot group them because there are different different names, but you can group the department and the salary. Can you group the name and ID because these are individual values, A and D. So how will you group A and D? They are two different values, right? So your even though your column or your data table contains multiple columns, your output remains the same. However, to deal with this multiple column data table, the way you create your workflow is slightly different. So let me show you from the beginning. Let's move on to UiPath Studio. All right. So let me first show you the data table which I have created, which is having two columns here. The very first example, department and salary. So here we have different, different, different values. So if you do a sum, the output should be 60. So this is my 60,000. So uh, for IT, now this table, first thing we have to read in, in UAPA Studio. So for that, I have used the Excel process code, use Excel file and read range. And these values are there in the sheet number six. So let me point out and select sheet number six. And that is getting stored in the variable DT. Pretty simple. Okay, let me minimize this. So we have read it. After you read, then we, what we will do, we will use a assign activity. Okay. In the assign activity, you create a variable. So here I have created a variable called output DT, which is a data table variable. I'll put this output DT here. So finally, I want to get an output return type should be data table. So I'm saying output DT. Okay. Now let us see how to write the expression. This is important. Let me click on this and start writing. So we understood where our data table is present. So our data table present in DT variable. So first we will say from row in DT. That means it is going to iterate through rows inside the data table. Like this is the row, this is the row data rows. Okay. So it is going to iterate. So I am writing from row in DT. It loop through that entire data table. After that, I need to group. So the syntax I will write first. So you will say group row by key. Now what is this key? You got a new term. This is a variable again. This is again a variable. This is a variable. This is a variable. All right. DT is a variable. So group row by key. You have created a variable called key. So what is that key? For example, here I am saying Department is the key, right? In the department, whichever the common values are there, 
you group them so your output would appear like it 60000 hr you saw that output so department is your key the values inside the department is your key so what we will do i will show this practically one by one first let's write the syntax so key are it hr finan these are the key values which is there in your department okay or upon which you will be grouping them using what key you will be grouping them using the department key you will be grouping them so for this let's write so here our data table rows are there in row variable so i'll say row and in this you select the department column convert that to two string and then trim it if there are any space okay so this becomes your key upon which you will do the grouping okay you will do the you got the key but once you group the output where would you be saving that so i will say into save into a variable called group equals to group okay so this is the method group okay coming in blue in color so this is your variable and this is your variable so you have got two variables now it becomes at most important to understand this concept what i have written until here this first sentence first line is pretty clear but this line one has to understand so for this i'll simply hit on save and you you have to see the error okay if you run this or if that doesn't come simply run it you will see that error okay so what is the error it is talking about it is saying i numerable of anonymous type key as string okay key group as i numerable of data row so it is saying whatever you have written it is producing an output which is of i numerable of key as string and then group as i numerable of data row so let me write it for you okay so until now so this breaking this code splitting this code into small small parts is important for our understanding purpose okay so let me help you here so here this is the code we have written what kind of output it returns it returns a output which is i numerable of what of two things it contains a key and a group now what is the key type the key type is a string it is returning when you use a group by the key is a string and then the group the key that department you have mentioned row dot two string right so it is a string type and the group value which is getting returned because is a data table it is returning what i numerable or collection of data rows getting it so we are having two different output one is i numerable of it has inside that it has a key and then it has a i numerable the group is a i numerable type which contains the data row collection of data rows okay this is just a string so this is how the output is coming okay now once you have seen this output let us improvise the code for what we need okay hit enter here and we have to use a keyword called let what this let do let will create a new object so temporarily we are creating a new object in which we will do all the sum part and then put it back something like that okay so x is a object temporary object upon which we will write certain things so here what are the things we need we need the key okay so the key variable and we need the group variable correct so this object is containing the key coming from the group by because the group by is dividing and making two different elements key and group of data rows so here the x object also will contain the same thing however what we want in the group i will apply a sum sum of what i want to sum the salary column because this is going to contain everything so inside that salary column i would like to create a sum that is our main objective right you want to have the key it for example and then sum the salary values so for this any time you are writing a method you will again create a lambda function function and here i'll define some variable let's say y and i will say y let me make it slightly small okay so y and here in the y i would be dealing with which column salary column salary okay salary column 
so in the salary column what i have to do i have to convert the salary into integer format okay so i'll put a and then your sum the sum that you have written here that should be closed so there will be three parentheses at the end okay so it is got closed after this you have to convert this to two string format again put it back to two string format clear now what what this is doing let's understand let me copy this to a notepad and let's understand what this specific code is doing so this code now understand what is the output of this one the first one so the output is having a key let's say it is the key comma the group so the group will contain two elements one is it comma what is the first value 40000 in the salary it will have 40000 because it is a collection of what data rows so the first data row is this okay and below that there will be one more data row which contains it comma 20000 right 20000 end so now you understood this when you apply this group what is happening it is dividing and finding the key so in this what are the keys it is a key hr is a key finance is a key all the specific elements of the department column it will find out so for i am giving an example of it only so here i am giving it similarly hr finance also will get created in the similar fashion so it the group variable is going to contain two different elements i numerable collection of data rows so the first data row this one it will contain and then this one it will contain similarly for hr it will contain this data row this data row for finance because it is only one row it will contain only one row so you understood from this example what would be the output of this group row by key this is the output okay it will have a key and it will have a group variable which is going to contain everything group is equal to group okay understood now here in the let i what i am doing i am putting this key i am writing it for example and in the group i am doing group dot sum function y salary so this is the salary column what it will do it will sum everything and it will give you 60000 as an output so here key is it and the value is 60000 so like that all the continuation would happen for all the data and then you will get for each of the key it will sum the items 30000 20000 50000 so finally finally 50000 will come okay so this is understood so this contains key and this contains sum of the values inside the collection of data rows it will sum what the, if there are five rows it will sum all the things okay finally it will give you the sum so the sum value it will come in a string format so what is the output here output is something like this okay it comma then 60000 similarly where when it loop again hr comma so if you see 30000 plus 20000 will become 50000 okay then what would happen then finance is another key so finance comma finance has only one so it will have 230000 so like that everything is happening in this object now this is just a temporary object how do i add it to a data table that is important right so this is understood after this how do i add it to the data table so here what i will do i'll say select because my data table only contains two columns the initial data table contains only department salary and the object also containing two columns department and salary right so that's why what i can do i'll simply use the same variable select dt dot rows is the method dot add it is going to overwrite everything what to add the x object you add so it will remove everything from dt and add the x object okay so once you add you have to convert that to a data table so i will put a parenthesis at the start and end and simply say copy to data table understood the entire code is understood let us save it now this output will go here and then finally in the excel process scope i've used a use excel file and a write data table to excel and simply put the output data table and writing in the sheet 7 so our final output where it will appear in the sheet 7 which is currently black let's go back let me minimize this it is simply writing okay so here is the assign activity so if i'm going to run this particular code what would happen the x object is going to add the values to the data table 
and whatever the output is coming here it will get added to the output detail okay now if you see the execution is complete if i go here what happened i got the output 60000 50000 30000 it is as we have expected the output has come now the problem if i am going to deal the second scenario if there are multiple columns how will i apply the same logic to calculate the salary now there are how many multiple columns are there now what would happen in this case if i am going to run this let me first change the input so the input is there in sheet number 5 let's go here and select sheet number 5 done now let me minimize this if i run this what would happen because there are multiple columns there will be some kind of a confusion while writing the output look at it now the execution is complete if i go to excel and go to sheet 7 what happened under id name department these are the column names headers from the sheet number 5 are input table so it has got all the columns and then finally writing values but again it is not under it it should come under department so this kind of a confusion would happen for the code if there are multiple columns in your data table now in that case what is the way you will fix your code now to fix your code what you do after reading this okay add a activity called build data table build data table okay i am going to add this activity build data table here this build data table i'll click here and start let's remove everything and start adding so the very first is department so i'll put department string okay and click on the plus sign and then the next uh, column is remember your group by only produces two columns the key column and the value column correct so the next is your salary which is again a string type click on okay done so let us remove anything extra so simply i have created a template for the data table now after you click on okay here you put the output data table output data table so output data table now has a format department and salary okay and the same output data table i am using it here what i will do i'll make small change to the code instead of writing in the dt which contains multiple columns id name department salary instead of that i'll be writing here while it is adding the x object i'll write the output dt variable simple output dt variable click on save the code is quite simple okay i'm going to click on save so this is our final code let me just copy this and keep it so that i can pass it on the uh, description of the video okay so this is the code that i've created now it is going to write it and the, the output we will see so before we do that let us first delete all this data save it sheet 7 is blank now this is nothing let's go here and run this okay so you understood the trick what i'm using now the execution is complete so did we get the output department salary it 55000 is it right sheet 5 if i go to it 40000 plus 15000 which is 55000 which is correct similar way hr and finance so we finally got the output when you will be dealing with multiple columns then you understood how to use the combination of group by and sum let me show you the code once again okay so this is the code so thank you guys for watching i am going to come up with more such interesting contents for you which is going to help you to understand the code and will be able to once you have the complete understanding you can modify the code as needed right you understand how the outputs are coming and how what you are doing and why the final output is coming in that format okay so thank you guys for watching please do not forget to subscribe to my channel and do not forget to like the videos that you are watching on my channel thank you for your contribution